The Erdos Apollo Data Manager is a desktop application which connects to an Erdos Apollo instance and allows an organization's data administrators and managers to ingest and catalog a variety of data types and formats to include raster and vector datasets as well as point cloud data in LAS or LAZ format. This e-training video will show how to work with various data types and ingest them into the Erdos Apollo catalog. With the Erdos Apollo Data Manager open, in the Explorer view, expand the localhost server connection. Expand the catalog as well as the root folder. Then expand the Las Vegas folder, or aggregate as it is commonly referenced as, and there will be a sub-aggregate called elevation. Right click on the Las Vegas aggregate and select the create aggregate option from the context menu. The data hierarchy you construct in the Erdos Apollo catalog does not have to match your physical network. This allows you to logically build your collection based on how users are to view, browse, or search your data holdings. In the dialog box it appears, create a sub-aggregate under Las Vegas called imagery and tell it OK. Repeat the process again and create another sub-aggregate called Vector. Right click on the imagery aggregate and select the Crawl File System option. The Crawler Schedule Wizard dialog will open asking for a directory to crawl. To navigate to a data location over a network, in the Select Directory dialog box, click the Browse button. In the Network Path section, type the network path of where the data resides and click the Add button. However, the Erdos Apollo application server must have network privileges to access and crawl data over the network. Please review the Erdos Apollo Administrator Guide for more information on this topic. For this example, a local directory will be used. Naving to the local directory on the server, select the ECW folder or aggregate. On the right side of the wizard is a list of all supported formats that Erdos Apollo can catalog. Additional formats can be added with the Erdos Apollo SDK. The crawler can also be set to only crawl specific data formats and ignore others. Click the OK button. The path of the directory to crawl is now shown in the wizard. Make sure the replicate directory hierarchy, hierarchy with aggregates is checked and click the Next button. Erdos Apollo can crawl file systems immediately and only once or on a regular schedule if the organization has a regular schedule where new imagery is added to a folder. The crawler can be conf configured to crawl the directory just once, or every hour, day, week, or month, and at a particular date and time. Any previously crawled data will be ignored and only the new data added to the directory since the last crawling job will be added. In this example, the run immediately is checked and click Next. The next dialog deals with processing and web options, which allows for the configuration of aggregates and or the data sets to be served via WMS, WMTS, WCS. If the data is to be made downloadable through either a direct file download or the clip zip ship functionality, Erdos Apollo will also stream data in the form of an ECWP or JPIP, as well as generate a map-only ESRI REST geo service. For now, we are going to leave these set to the defaults and click the Next button. The next window deals with the data security settings. This allows the organization admin or one of the data managers to apply security to an aggregate and the data sets within. By selecting a principle, which can either be a user or role, 
in the Erdos Apollo database, permissions such as read, update, delete, and manage can be assigned. Additional security settings such as scale range can be set where the user can only see the data within a set scale range. Spatial range can also be set where the admin defines the bounding polygon for the user or role and whether they are allowed to see the data contained within the polygon authorized area or if the data is hidden the admin can input a set of bounding box coordinates or they can set the boundary using an interactive map. For this example, we are going to leave the security settings at its defaults and click Next. The Metadata Parser section allows the data manager to look for specific files or information in an image header that contains metadata. This metadata is then ingested into the Erdos Apollo catalog. For example, Landsat imagery metadata is usually located in a text file or TXT file. When the Landsat parser is selected, the system knows where to look to extract the information needed for the catalog. New parsers can be added to the system using the Erdos Apollo SDK. The data in this example is not specific to any type of sensor and as such the metadata parser section will be ignored. Click Next to continue. The last section provides a summary of the job about to be submitted to the Erdos Apollo server for review. If a change needs to be made, just click the Back button. Otherwise, just click the Finish button to begin the job. Clicking the Jobs tab will show the progress of the crawling job and if any errors were had during the job. Once the job is complete, the admin can preview the image crawled by, the, crawled by selecting the data set in the data sets tab and adding it to the map. Once the job is complete, the Explorer tab will refresh. Select the newly crawled folder or aggregate and click the datasets tab. Right click on an image inside the datasets tab and select the add to map option. A review of the catalog information can also be reviewed by selecting the properties tab. Besides cataloging raster datasets, Erdos Apollo can also catalog and serve out point cloud data such as LiDAR, as well as vector data as OGC services. In this task, aerial LiDAR data in LAS format, as well as Esri shapefiles and Oracle database vector data will be cataloged. We're going to select the elevation sub-aggregate under the parent Las Vegas aggregate. The properties tab displays the catalog information about the, Las Vegas, about the elevation aggregate, including the aggregate name, keywords, registration, date, and so on. There may be times when data is received that does not contain projection information, such as spheroid, datum, or an EPSG code. Examples of these data types would be TIFF or JPEG images with world files, or sometimes LiDAR data in the LAS format. A default SRS can be assigned to an aggregate that data of this type will be cataloged to. This enables Erdos Apollo to recognize the coordinate values and apply projection information when serving the data as OGC services. Scroll down in the Properties tab to the Advanced group. Notice there is no default SRS or spatial reference system defined. Click inside the blank field of the default SRS and click the button that appears in the field to open the Spatial Reference Systems dialog. At the top of the Spatial Reference Systems, enter in the value 26911 in the search field. Notice that as you begin to type in the, type in the value, the list of available projections start to shrink. This will work with EPSG values, 
or if you begin typing in the word Nevada, UTM, or Zone. Select the NAD83 UTM Zone 11 North and click OK in the Spatial Reference Systems dialog. Save the changes and then select the Elevation Aggregate again. Right click on the aggregate and choose the Crawl File System option. Navigate to the Data Directory and select the LAS folder then the OK button. Uncheck the Replicate Directory Hierarchy with Aggregates and check the Crawl Only Selected Extensions box. Click the Select button and in the Select Extensions dialog find LAS. In the left hand column Select it and then click the Add button to move it to the Selected Extensions column. When ERDOS Apollo catalogs LAS point cloud data, by default it generates a hexagon point cloud which will generate a spatial index and compress the point cloud making for faster display. Similar to raster pyramid layers, the HPC generated files placed in the defined ERDOS Apollo storage location. Click the OK button in the Select Extensions dialog box and then click Next to continue with the Crawling Schedule wizard. Accept the defaults on the remaining steps of the wizard and click Finish when you get to the summary page. In the left hand view, select the Jobs tab and review the crawling process. The crawling of vector data into the catalog is the same as was done for raster and LAS datasets. Select the vector sub-aggregate under the Las Vegas aggregate and click on the crawl file system icon or button on the Explorer toolbar. In the data folder, select the UTM or select the shapefiles UTM zone 11 folder and click OK. This contains a number of Esri shapefiles. Uncheck the replicate, replicate directory hierarchy with aggregates and accept all other defaults. Vector data that is contained in a database can also be crawled. This can be a file based database such as an Esri file geo database or a server based solution such as Microsoft SQL. Postgres SQL or Oracle. Making sure the root aggregate is selected. Click on the crawl database function on the toolbar. Select the database the vector data is contained in. For this example, an Oracle database will be selected. After clicking next, the database connection dialog will request the needed information to connect to the database. The required information for connecting is highlighted with a red font. Connections, once established, can be saved and reused. In this instance, our previous connection will be used to crawl the database. Notice that once a previous connection has been selected, all the information that displays in the connection window is grayed out except for the data SRS and filter options. This allows for the crawling of vector in different projections and can filter out specific features to be crawled instead of the entire database. For this instance, we are going to change the projection to EPSG 26916 and crawl the entire data set. Click Next and accept the defaults for the remaining portions of the wizard. Once complete, you can view the thumbnails and metadata of the data sets that were crawled from the Oracle database. Right click on a data set 
and say show thumbnail and you can also show the ISO metadata. In the jobs tab we noticed that we had an error crawling some of this database information into the Apollo catalog. Selecting the record you can choose to review the errors that were cataloged. In this case the feature counts of this feature class within the database is zero. So even though the table exists there were no features to crawl so the data manager generated an error. Once you've cataloged and crawled data it's good practice to review the imagery in a map to make sure that the data displays adequately and is visually pleasing to an end user. We're going to click on the ECW aggregate under the Las Vegas imagery subfolder or aggregate. In the data sets tab click the first record scroll to the bottom hold the shift key and click the last record to select all the records. Right click and add to map. All the data will be added to the map and then you can use the zoom tools to review the data within Data Manager. We can review the layers that have been added within the Layers tab. Inside the Layers tab we can turn records on and off or remove from the map view window. We're going to go ahead and remove all the images from the map. Now in the elevation folder where you're going to select the elevation folder and review the LiDAR data sets, select and add them to the map. Lastly, we're going to add one of the vector layers from the Apollo data um, from the Oracle database to the map layer. This concludes how to crawl various data sets inside of Erdos Apollo. Check back soon for other Erdos Apollo e-training videos.